think that's it. All right, I'm sharing this now. Okay. Okay, so that's my Twitter. Ignore that. Okay, so I found from a, there was a tweet posted. And in the tweet, they had a picture from a concert of a barcode up on the big screen. So I, I scanned it with my, my burner phone. And it brought me to this ceasefiretoday.com. Now, this is really crazy because um, when you go into it, you could see, look at all these international organizations supporting this. Okay, email Congress, all this kind of stuff. So now read this part here. I'll read it to you. They say call Congress. Use a script below provided by Jewish Voice for Peace, uh, which I got. You're everywhere. Back to ask your member of Congress to call for a ceasefire. Now tell me if you can't figure out which uh, Congress people are backing these violent protests. Important note, if your member of Congress is Cori Bush, Andre Carson, Pramila Jayapal, Barbara Lee, Summer Lee, Delia Ramirez, Rashida Tlaib, of course, Jamal Bowman, um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, Jonathan Jackson, Troy Garcia, Nydia Velasco. God, I didn't even know half these people. Um, Bonnie Watson Coleman, Greg Cesar, Alma Adam, or Maxwell Frost. Then please call to thank them. You can simply say that you are a con con constituent who wants to thank them for introducing and supporting this important ceasefire resolution. And in case you're a moron and you don't know how to talk, they even provide you with a script to, you know, to, to con contact your congressperson, which is not a bad idea. I mean, if you want to get some action going, you spoon fit it, people. I get that. Um, now, here's the international actions. C Canada, contact those MPs. UK, Amnesty, Canada, um, Oxfam. Uh, find a protest near you. Okay, so... Everyone listening, I'll post this. It's ceasefiretoday.com. I'll post this, but monitor this. We need to get, we, we honestly, there need to be more counter protesters. And people on the opposite side of these politics, look, I'm not advocating that, you know, uh, anyone use a, you know, something that's going to help enrich the people that are trying to take your uh, freedom away, which these people are. They, you know, these are Marxists. Make no doubt about it. But what I am saying is that, like, these tools work. These are just glorified CRMs, and they're just using them to organize. And the conservatives have got to figure out how to use these tools or use these tools because they work and they can get people anywhere in the country. And, you know, you see, you got your, this is your, uh, you know, your advertising, your marketing. This is your, um, kind of your logistics this is getting the message out and what this is all doing this is also for the companies behind this this is collecting a lot of valuable marketing data because they're getting everyone's names and where they live and everything like that so they're yeah. getting measures of effectiveness which is very important in a propaganda campaign but also in a marketing campaign now check out the toolkit all right so there there it is i have two of these open all right, so this is um, this is how these things do get organized. Um, very simply, they literally spoon feed people everything. This is where you find the next protest. Okay, but you see what's happening here. This is this is really good command and control for these violent protests. Um, find a protest near you. Pressure your members of Congress. So you know, as much as I cannot stand these people and they're horrible and they're they killed a man and it's just this kind of organization works and you know i think the right if they're gonna have any chance they really need to come up with something like this and use it okay now you see what they're doing here all yet again going after the companies that are based in in israel or or that have locations in israel so it's a multi-pronged multi-faceted attack and it is all organized right there online. And then these type of things here, they blast out to everyone. Now, how do you counter this? You counter this with your own or <laughs> at this dastardly idea. Now, not everyone likes to fight a war like me. I'm more like the, you know, I, I'm not a big honor guy. I like to win no matter what it takes. Um, I would say flood the zone. 
flood the zone, confuse the zone, you know, bring a bunch of people with your own signs for something totally different that someone might not know. Free this country they've never heard of. Free Moldova or something. And just literally flood the zone and drown out the message. Um, but this is how it's done. And then if you go further, this is the link to their... See, just remember I told you. I said that Google Drive connects to these CRMs and they get to... These signs look familiar. This is why they're all the same. This is the actual Google Drive that wasn't hard to find. And then you download these or you send this right to your local Kinko's or FedEx. And, um, you know, that's how you have it. Check out some of these other folders here, you know, going to your faith community. I haven't gone into this one yet. Okay. See what they're doing now. They're, they're attacking at every level. Like this is how you go into the churches. Okay. And actually Trevor Loudon has a new book called the enemy within the church. Uh, which I'd highly recommend. Um, here's the information on the March on Washington that you saw. This is how it was all organized right here. See these signs look familiar. Got the buses. These are, you got all the sponsors, everything like this. So look, I mean, this is, uh, I'll make this available, but just go to, I mean, seriously, if people want to learn not about, I don't want to advocate for these protests because I think they're, you know, even the people that believe they're protesting, something good, these people are being used for something else. And that's obvious. Um, and you can tell usually by who's backing it, which brings me to my next point. So here, if you go into their website, okay. Uh, the, the actual organization called United States Palestinian. Uh, let me see. It is the U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights. Um, so you go in here, right? And so there's your petitions. This is their website here. Okay. And now this is what you got to see here. So you see they're using these are the different plugins that they're using, like Dropbox, everything like that for their petitions. There's you know nothing nefarious there. These these type of API connections are, are common for anything. But if you look at the donations, this is what kind of struck me, like who's taking the donations. Um, so right here you have the, um, the IFCJ, okay? And this is the people you see, I, I believe this is those people you see on those kind of weird and weirdly staged commercials late at night on conservative television where they always have the old lady crying and they bring her a box of some food. Okay. Then you have Amnesty US is, is taking donations for these protests. And then nohungrykid.org. So a lot of these have nothing to do with what they're protesting. And then if you go further on their sponsors, you find um, Operation Smile, which are the, it's the doctors that like, fix those kids with the, you know, the um, cleft palates and stuff like that. So look, my point of showing you all this is to show you that this is, um, this is a moneymaker for a lot of people. The more protests, the better. Uh, the, in addition to Action Network, the other one I found today um, was Coleman.com. And again, it's another CRM company. CRM are like, you know, online ways of like just organizing business units and everything. That's how they started. And, but this is how this uh, ceasefire in Gaza group is, is organizing using this one. And if you see, it's just the same thing as Action Network or Open Collective. Build my movement, volunteer management. These guys have an app though. So I'm going to sign up for this and find out, um, you know, what, what the deal is here. What I noticed about this one though, is uh, like this almost seems like there's a bit of a military bend to it because they actually have territory and, and, and profiles analysis. And we're not talking like the Gaza strip territory. We're talking like where you're going to protest territory. Now in the military, we would call this IPB or intelligence preparation of the battlefield. That's when you look at maps and you figure out your going or no go zones and you know, where the populations are. This is on a CRM. This is literally like creating non-government actors and giving them the tools to basically raise an army, if you will. That sounds a little dramatic, but 
it's kind of hard to see it any other way, in my opinion. Anyway, so that's uh, anyone who wants to check that out, I'll pop that in the chat and then just follow the links. Use a, I always recommend using a, um, a VPN to protect your IP address. Um, you know, and uh, no, we don't have a sponsor of VPN, so I won't um, recommend one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we are. So uh, that's it. That's what I got. 